All right, all right. L D W M M A C and salute to the WMA universe. This is your boy, the coach. You're live, live, live on the coach show. The coach show live. Okay, guys. Tracy Cortez versus Justine. Sh. Y'all know why I call her Justine. Sh. You know, y'all, y'all know Justine. Just the girl that she actually took a dump in the octagon. She, she, you know, she doo dooed in her uniform. And there was some man, a grown, rusty, crusty, dusty grown man, wanted to buy her uniform. She wanted, they wanted to buy the uniform with the doodle in it. Yeah. Yeah. That Justine Kish. Well, anyway, man, I knew how this fight was going to go down, okay? When you see a Tracy Cortez fight, guys, no, you won't get a whole lot of entertainment value, but you will see some good wrestling. Tracy Cortez is a hell of a wrestler, okay? Um, she got the fight to the ground several times. I thought Tracy Cortez had some good control. I thought she had some good control. Ramsey Sutton III and Paris Lucas and Marcus Bell and Felix Lunez. I thought she had good control on the ground. But let's just be honest, okay? A lot of you were watching this fight because y'all looking at Tracy Cortez's water buffalo. That's what you guys were looking at. I know it is because, look, I know how you guys think. You were looking at the water buffalo. I mean, it's not bad for a midget. It's not bad for a midget. Hey, yeah, you know, y'all yeah, know the coach don't get into midgets, but uh, Tracy Cortez is a midget, you know? But it's a midget that know how to wrestle. You know, but I was shocked in this fight. Tracy Cortez actually stood for long periods of time. And I just kind of thought, man, you know, dang, you know, why is she doing that? Just get the fight to the ground. Just stay in your lane. You know, do what's comfortable for you. But she opted to stand and try to trade with Justine Kish. I, st I felt like Justine Kish got the better of the exchanges. But I felt like Tracy Cortez did gave a good account of herself while she was on the feet. But yeah, next time, look, go to your strong point so you can keep winning. And maybe one day you can get a title shot. Um, Justine Kish is a good opponent. I mean, she's very technical. I just I, I don't think Justine Kish has the highest fight IQ. I don't think she got the highest fight IQ out there. Justine Kish can fight, though. Very athletic. But it's just sometimes she just don't do certain things correctly. Like, okay, you knew the takedown was coming, right? You knew it was coming. Okay, like, I was wanting Justine Kish to be prepared to stuff these takedowns. But I felt like Justine Kish, she was so busy, so, like, strike heavy on top that she was getting caught off guard. And, and Tracy Cortez was getting these, uh, she was getting these takedowns, beautiful takedowns. Justine Kish didn't know how to defend them, man. That's just what it is. Uh, Tracy Cortez pretty much exposed that about Justine Kish. Justine Kish puts on great fights, but she only put those fights on with people who are not a takedown threat. Okay, this fight right here, yeah, man. When Cortez got hit or she got lit up a little bit, she'd take the fight to the ground, which that's what I wanted to do. I, I wish, though, that Cortez could be more active, man, on the top. I, Cortez has a tendency to, to lay there a fish for a submission, and most of the time, these damn submissions ain't there. And I'm sitting here thinking, what is she doing? What the hell is she doing? Go ahead and do some ground and pound. But, you know, wrestlers, I don't know, man. She got to get out of that wrestling mindset. Only use the wrestling to take the fight to the ground. And once the fight get to the ground, throw some elbows. Man, I wanted to see some damn elbows out of Cortez, but I ain't see that. I just saw her and Justine Kish over there hand fighting. But it don't matter. Salute to Tracy Cortez for winning this fight. The judges had a split decision, guys. I'm telling y'all, man, it's something wrong with these judges. It's something wrong with these judges, man. I think these judges, they've been eating up. I don't know, man. I, I know the one judge. I seen one judge. I know that joke can put away five ham sandwiches. I know he can put away five ham sandwiches with his fat ass. He, he over there, man. I, he like, guys, I, I told you, I've seen some judges not even paying attention. I've seen judges eating. I've seen judges texting. I've seen judges talking to people in the audience. Guys, I've seen this all over. I've seen this so many times, man. And the judging in MMA needs an overhaul. Okay, needs an overhaul. Man, they, they got to do something about the judging. It's, it's horrific, man. This fight wasn't even, it just wasn't even close to me. I, I gave it two rounds, Tracy Cortez, two to one. We need to maybe we need to do a criteria our own WMMA universe effective scoring criteria. I think we need to come up with something that we all use that's gonna make sense, man, to the, the common fight fan because what we seeing out of these judges, it's just not it's not good enough, man. 
Okay, they got to do better, man. They got to do better. It was a close fight, but I thought that Tracy Cortez did more of the work. She did more. more. She did more of the work. The takedowns are very good. She held the position, and that's what it is. Um, <laughs> it is what it is, man. Um, enjoyed. Uh, did I enjoy the fight? No. Did I enjoy looking at the fight? Well, yes. Yes. 